Now that I have an AP going, I want to get a repeater going. So to make things even more interesting, I have a repeater up on my roof just floating in space up to power running one of my old setups. So let's find it and hook to it. I think it's this uplink C. Connected. And it gave me 12.0.113 subnet. So logging to 12.0.113.1. Log in with your root and your password. Now I'm in the router. Okay, this one's running standard 530.07 firmware. I'm going to start right off the bat by reflashing it right through the wireless. If you don't believe it can be done, watch. So what I want, Wi-Fi Gator Upgrade. This is through the wireless, just like <laughs> pulling up and connecting with a laptop and flashing one of your units remotely. They say don't do it, right? Well. I think as long as you don't lose a connection in the middle of it and you're close enough, no problem. So it finished and rebooted and bumped me off and switched me back over to test. So I went and changed my list to uplink C only. <clears throat> now it's going to reconnect to that. There my uplink C came back. into it. Check it out. It's router number 00113, 12.0.113.1, LAN IP, everything else default, except my time zone. Wireless. Let's make this my new SSID Linksys <laughs> Private Network 113 that can stay Uplink C that can stay Wireless Security oh wait didn't say that Thanks. 
process. Okay, wireless security. My uplink is fixed, <clears throat> so I have a web key on that. My first virtual interface on the repeater is my SSID for Chili Spot, so I have security disabled on that interface. Second virtual interface is my private network 113 in this case for this repeater. So I have a key set there according to my little algorithm. And then I have uplink C with my fixed series of keys that I decided would be for all of my repeaters. You can make yours whatever you want. Now let's look at Chili Spot Services Hotspot. Here it's the same setup as in the other page only. I'm going to change it to my address of my slice host machine. And <clears throat> Down here, this should be empty because I just reflashed with Wi Fi Gator and it filled all that UAM allowed in the UAM allowed field. And my S NASID is Linksys. Save settings. Administration Reboot So we're back Let's See if we have internet <coughs> We do Repeater's working So Let's close that We're done with that router and let's disconnect, clear our entire list here, remove everything, click OK. Wireless networks detected. Here's one called Linksys. Let's connect to that. Connected. IP address curiosity. It's the correct chili spot address. Try to open a browser. Google comes up. Let's go to some other page. Negative. It says log in. I did log in and that gets injected in there. I'm signed up so my stuff's entered. So, now that I just logged in as the user I just signed up as a few minutes ago for a nickel, I'm still online. So now I'm connected through the wireless to the repeater. I'm logged in as a customer with my 30 minutes of time that I bought. The repeater's uplinking to the uplink Wi-Fi. So we can go where we want from here. So 
So there you saw it with your own eyes. I flashed a repeater through the Wi-Fi and configured it and set it up to be on my new splash page which I just set up to be on my new enchilada server which I already bought a half hour's worth of time for a nickel on it and the payment went through got my username and password right here and so we're good to go so there's my first demonstration we'll see what else I can come up with